Hi everyone, this lesson goes over algorithms that can be used to add fractions with unlike denominator. An algorithm is a plan or steps that we can use to solve a problem. In the example given below, we have 3 and 5 6 and 6 7 which both have a different denominator. So the first thing you must do is to find a common denominator, which we call that the LCD of 6 and 7 and we can do so using the division method. Notice how nothing goes into six and seven, so we can directly multiply them to get the LCD. Now you will convert the fraction into a common denominator, which is 42. To turn a six to 42, we multiply by seven. So we do the same thing in the numerator, and we get 35. To turn a seven to 42, we times six, so we multiply by 6 as well in the numerator, and we get 36. The next step is to rewrite the question with a common denominator. So we have 3 and 35, 42, plus 36, 42. And the first thing you should add is the whole number, which in this case, there's only one number. So we have a 3 here. And the next thing you need to add is the numerators, which brings us 71 over 42. Notice how 7142 is an improper fraction. So we have to convert 71 over 42 into a mixed number by long division, which 42 goes into 71 only once. With a remainder of 29, that means this equals to one whole and 29 out of 42. So you are now adding three whole plus one and 29, 42 together, which gives you the final answer of four whole and 29, 42. Now let's try another example, which in this case we have four numbers. The denominators are eight, two, four, and four. Again, we need to look for the LCD of the four numbers and let's write them side by side. And we don't need to include the last four because it's the same numbers. So now we will use long division on the three numbers, which the only number that goes into the three numbers is two, bringing eight to four, two to one, and four to two. And now we'll do partial common factor, which is these two numbers only. And that will be two again. So we bring that down to two, one, and one. And to find the LCD, we multiply the numbers in the L shape, which is eight. So the next job we have is to convert each fraction into a common denominator. For 7 eighth, it will be the exact same thing. For half, it will be 4 eighth. For 1 fourth, you're timesing it by 2. So you get 2 eighth. And for 3 fourth, you times 2 again. So you get 6 eighth. Now let's write them back to the question. So we have 7 eighth plus 1 and 4 eighth plus one and two eighth plus six eighth. The only thing that you need to add together is the whole numbers and the numerator. The denominator will stay the same, which gives us two whole and 19 over eight. Again, the denominator stays the same. Now the last step is to convert the improper fraction to a mixed number and then add it back to the whole number. So we have to do 19 divided by eight, which eight goes into 19, twice and that would take away 16 from 19 which leaves us 3 as the remainder that means 19 8th also equals to 2 whole from here and 3 8th from the remainder to finalize this answer we will add 2 with the 2 and 3 8th which brings us 4 and 3 8th as the final answer to wrap up this lesson, let's write down the steps that we have gone through to solve the two questions. The first thing we should do is find the lowest common denominator using the division method. And then you have to convert all the fractions into the same denominator based on the LCD. The last thing is to add the whole numbers with the whole number, the numerators with the numerator, and the denominator stays the same. If you do have an improper fraction for your fractional part of the answer, you need to convert that to mixed number and then add it with the whole.
That's it for the lesson.